the lads have got themselves on a good run and it would be lovely to keep it going but that being said Kamarnik are a dangerous team they've got a lot of good attacking threats so you know we'll have to a bit like the St Mirren game we'll have to work hard take our chances and and hopefully try and, and keep a clean sheet yeah, it's massively important um, you know for a number of reasons obviously to get the three points out of the game um, and also to keep the, the run going that we've been on, um, whatever it is, three or four, five games unbeaten and, and winning each game as well. Um, you know, you can get into the habit of winning and in the habit of losing, so hopefully we can maintain that habit of winning. Well, a lot of good attacking players. You obviously, Kelly we know a lot about, um, the lad Harkin, Dayton, um, Kelly in midfield. So, you know, you know they have got options um, to score goals, so... You know that'll be key to, to if we win the game, we can we can keep it. You know, um, at the very most down to one. Um, if we keep a clean sheet, great. Um, and then obviously we take our chances when they come along. You know, we kind of have an idea what way they're going to play because you know they they set out to play a certain way, and you know they're very good on the ball and they're very comfortable on the ball and they like to try and pass it. So obviously they have Kelly and Sheridan up front who we know all about and. I think he scored a few goals for them already and he done that for us last year so kind of know what to expect from, from him. Um, a good finisher and all that so um, but we obviously have a good idea of how they're going to play based on the way that they always play. Peter B, whether he's involved, Saturday is, is close, Paddy's a bit closer. Obviously we've got Viney back which helps Steve McLean still out. Um, so we still have quite a few injuries but it's allowed us to bring a couple of players that possibly could be competing for a starting place. Any time we get a result, it's it's down to us having to, to work very hard and every single man on the pitch to, to work very hard and to try and grind out the result like we've been doing. Um, and we'll need to do that again. It's pretty difficult when you've got nothing to gear towards, so we did a wee little bit of fitness work last week and um, uh, they had a few days off to recharge the batteries and then it was back in this week, really fully focused towards Kilmarnock and... Um, you know, hopefully keep that good run going. Yeah, it was a great result. Um, I don't think anyone really gave us a chance to, to do anything out there. And um, obviously it was Ronaldo's 100th game as well. And, you know, uh, I think a lot of people expected him to, to give a good show on, but we sort of kept them quiet and, and got a great result. And, you know, they only scored with 10 minutes to go. So we were very close to getting the win out of it. Yeah, no, listen, a great shot in the arm. Um, and the boys can probably be feel a little bit Unlucky not to take the three points with with obviously Portugal, you know, getting a, getting an equaliser in the eighth minute. But I think you know before the game you you would have, you had a bit the hand off for a one all draw and it's a, it's 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 you know good for Tommy and good for for Michael and and, and the boys to get that that confidence booster which sets us up um, you know the next couple of games. Yeah, well we're, we haven't exactly been sitting in the sun. It wasn't really warm enough for us to do that, but not that we would have done that anyway. But it, it was. Uh, just training every day. A couple of couple of days we train twice as well. So, you know, got lots of good training. Some training with good goalkeepers, and obviously Tommy Wright's a goalkeeper coach. So, I'm used to working with him anyway. So, you know, you're you're training with good players as well. Some Premier League players. So, yeah, he's done very well. We, we knew what what sort of character Alan was, and he was very patient last year because Peter was doing very well, uh, and then he got his chance, and, and then he hasn't looked back. So. Um, Alan's a great pro. Um, he works very hard at his game. You know, has had a wealth of games, all right, obviously, but and, and League of Ireland. But he's also played in Europe quite a lot. So, you know, he's not an inexperienced goalkeeper. He's probably got about 500 games behind us. You know, so um, he's a great pro. Um, works at his game, and um, we're obviously we're delighted to have him.